Good morning and welcome to day two. I'm the kind of person who likes to start the day with a to-do list, even if it's just in my mind. Although as I grow older, I find I need to write it down or I'll forget. But I like accomplishing tasks and checking them off. It just feels good to me. However, as you know, life can get very complex, demanding, distracting, depleting us of energy. You know, it seems like every year as Shirley and I sit down to do our taxes, we're still surprised at how much paperwork there is, how many bills we've received, even if they were online. It's just very complex and complicated. Uh, recently, we were assessing our cable bill. The number of options was almost overwhelming. So much, so much to consider. Yesterday, mowing the lawn. Well, edge it. Uh, and weed eat it and blow off the grass, and pick some weeds and use Roundup, and trim the bushes, and kill the anthills, and oh my word, everything can become so complex. And it seems like almost every area of life has the potential for more options. Oh, I was downloading an app. They want my information. Okay. Do I want notifications? Do I want to put in my email, phone number, credit card? Do I want to be texted about the order? Do I want them to keep orders for future reference? Do I want them to email me my receipt? Yes, everything is complex. And then there is Jesus with his wise words to us. It's our memory verse this week, and I really hope you'll try and learn it with me. Say it aloud. John 6, 27. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him, God the Father has set his seal. John 6, 27. Now, Jesus isn't telling us to be lazy or irresponsible not to work. He's counseling us not to get so focused and engaged in all that's temporary that we fail to engage in what's eternal, what lasts beyond this life. That's what's really important. Now, who of us can't relate to that? Yes, we have things we need to address, don't we? Uh, right now, my tire pressure light is on to inform me that at least one of my tires needs air. So yes, I need to stop, take care of the car God entrusted to me. But that's only representative of a host of other things that can fill my thoughts consume my time so that I don't notice or engage the people around me, the ministry opportunities that God brings before me. And it's really almost a daily challenge, isn't it? To focus on what's eternal while still having to engage in all that's temporary. One of the things that helps me focus is praying through the pattern of the Lord's Prayer as I begin my day. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then I pray for the areas that I want to see that done. It keeps me mindful of kingdom matters that day. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory. And so I seek for God's rule, God's strength, and for God to be glorified. That just helps me to remember what's eternal and not be so distracted by that which does not endure, that which doesn't last beyond this life. I want to engage in lives and ministry and that which endures to eternal life. So I hope the same is for you. Why don't we pray that the Lord would grant us a fruitful day in which we are in the midst of engaging in all that's temporary we are keeping our mind on things that are eternal and making the most of each opportunity for ministry that God presents to us. Let's pray. So Lord, thank you for caring about our lives and forgive us for the times that we get distracted, for the times that we are so busy with things of this world that we lose sight of that which is eternal. Forgive us and help us today. And now, 
offer your prayers. God bless you.